What up, everyone? Jesse here with Tipsy Hooker Reviews. Today, we are going to talk about Azur's brand new flavor, apple cider. Check it out. Guess who's got a new flavor? Guess who's got a new flavor? Guess who's got a new flavor? For flavor, for flavor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, today we are talking about Azur's apple cider flavor. It's a brand new flavor that Azur brought to the market, and I'm super pumped about it because not only do I love Azur, but I love apple cider flavored pretty much anything. So this is going to be a good one for me. Uh, for y'all that don't know, Azur is a company out of Temecula, California. Uh, they make both blonde and dark leaf tobaccos. However, today I'm going over the blonde leaf apple cider. Uh, but like I said, they make both blonde and dark leaf. So they do have this flavor in dark leaf as well for all you dark leaf lovers. So don't worry about that. Um, with that being said, let's go pack a bowl. All right, guys. So as you can see here, I'm using an Apache Penny Rook bowl. Here is the Azure Blonde Leaf Tobacco. Uh, I like to cut it up a little bit before I pack it in the bowl just to make it a little finer cut. Of course, you don't have to. You can leave it the way it is if you would like. All right, so whenever I'm packing a bowl of uh, blonde leaf, or really dark leaf, any kind of tobacco, I just slowly go around uh, section by section, putting tobacco in with my oyster fork. And with the fluff pack, I just very, very slightly um, press it down a little bit. Not a lot at all. It's not like I'm doing a semi-dense. I'm just trying to keep it a little bit below that top rim of the bowl because if you, of course, overpack it, uh, you'll, you'll burn your tobacco really easily whenever you... Um, put your foil or HMD on the bowl and start smoking. Uh, I miscalculated how much tobacco I needed, so I went and got a little more and added it there just to top it off. And of course, you can see my bowl right here is finished. All right, guys, so I've been smoking this one for a little while now, and it's really, really good. Um, on both the inhale and the exhale, I'm getting uh, like a green apple mixture uh, uh, with, like, I guess you could say nutmeg, um, uh, cinnamon, like a mixture of different spices. Um, and it's really good. Uh, it's exactly what you would expect out of a apple cider flavored tobacco. Uh, it's almost as if I'm smoking an apple fritter. I don't know if you ever had an apple fritter. Um, it's a apple cinnamon pastry. It's really good. I eat them all the time, and I probably shouldn't, uh, but I do. And that's the best way I could really compare it with anything else because uh, I haven't smoked anything that's really quite like this. I've had cinnamon flavors. I've had uh, apple, green apple flavors. Um, and I even tried mixing those flavors in the past to make my own kind of apple cider. Uh, and it was probably just me, but I never really got it on point. And this is on point. This is really good. Um, so I'm going to keep smoking it, and of course, let me make a drink real quick. All right, guys, so um, the mix I'm doing today is pretty simple mix. Not getting creative. Don't really have to um, because the mix I'm doing is an apple cider whiskey mix, and it's really good. So I'm using uh, Old Camp's Peach Pecan Whiskey, very good whiskey. You're probably going to see me using this whiskey a lot um, because I love Old Camp whiskey. Very smooth, and uh, it, it's got a good bite to it. Um, I don't know why they call it peach pecan whiskey because I don't taste pecan at all, uh, which is probably a good thing because I don't think I would probably like it as much. Uh, but you definitely taste the peach. Uh, again, very good smooth whiskey. I recommend that you check them out if you have never heard of them. And of course, there it is, <laughs> apple cider. Um, it's a little warm outside today, so I just decided to go with um, a cold whiskey instead of a hot. Uh, I do drink it hot a lot, um, but like I said, it's pretty warm outside, so I didn't really feel like drinking a hot apple cider whiskey. Uh, you do two shots of the whiskey and then top it off with the apple cider, stir it up, mix it up, put it on ice, and there you go. Mm. Yeah, and it's really good, and I knew it would be because like I said, I drink it all the time, and I love it. So, I'm going to get back to smoking. And of course, I'm going to get back to drinking. Peace. Peace. 